So guys, we got the, um, the 3060 12GB uh, nerfed version, so not the full limited hash rate, the, the original like, nerfed version which is fixed all with the 4070.05 um, driver. Um, what I've done now is we've now got the, uh, the 3060Ti limited hash rate into this uh, Dell XPS. Um, I'm really setting this up for a test run, just want to see how it goes before I think about moving more or getting more 3060 Ti's onto, onto a full rig. Um, so I've been running the 3060 on, um, on QuickMiner. Um, obviously QuickMiner just does Ethereum. So what we're gonna have to do is install the NiceHash uh, original um, software, which um, allows you to mine um, uh, other coins uh, such as it you know obviously switch the most, most profitable ones so um, so we're just gonna log into uh, logging into nice hash just logging in here so just logged into uh, nice hash here and um, yeah we've currently got so four rigs going one inactive which is obviously the the Dell, the Dell XPS here, and um, so what I'm going to do is go to mining, and we want to download here. So I want to download miner or, or add asset. Um, obviously, at the moment I'm running Quick Miner, but what we're going to want to do is run the Nice Hash Miner, which allows us to run. Um, other algorithms apart from Ethereum. Um, I think at the moment, looking at it, mining like Raven Corner Ergo at the full hash potential um, of a 3060 LH 3060 TR LHR is a little bit more profitable than running Ethereum um, around half the hash rate, which is about 30 31. So, so yes, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and um, Install nice hash, so do, yeah, understand that. Go and download, uh, and we'll install the. Uh, I don't think that's too much. We'll just do this one. And that's it. Nice hash is downloading here. Open it up. I agree. Um, finish. I say nice hash. Look, not uh, like of course Hive OS and uh, you know T Rex Miner, MB Miner, um, probably slightly better um, softwares to run for mining. But uh, for me, just the ease of nice hash at the moment um, just uh, makes a lot of sense. So uh, yeah, upset that. I think I can close this down there. English, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Keep right. So we're just logged in now and nice hash is uh, just opening up. Give it a changes, that's all good. Uh, yep, we'll accept these ones and we'll accept that. Logging good. Nice hash restart is required, that's fine. Cool. So what we might do, well, so you can see there, actually let's make that a bit bigger. Oh, no, no, actually that is the full size of that. So uh, let's, uh, I think I put this in dark mode. I find it's, uh, Open up in dark mode. I find it's not so uh, wavy in dark mode. Um, like I say, apologies. I will get a proper um, you know, screen share going soon, so we don't have to do it through the phone. So I'm gonna do some benchmarking now. So yeah. So so with so what happens with the nice hash, like the original version, not the quick miner. Um, like it's pretty simple. You see me there. It's taking a couple minutes to. Um, download and log in and get up and running. 
is we now do a start benchmark and this then just runs through all the various um, I guess softwares and algorithms out there and finds which um, well finds a which ones we can mine with 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 our GPU or CPU I'm only going to mine GPU um, and uh, it, it will then if you allow it run the most profitable algorithm or even switch um, but for this I'm probably going to be well I think this will come up the most profitable being um, like Octopus or um, uh, oh, okay, don't know what. Uh, maybe we can see here if we go to plugins. Oh, here you go. So, so you can see here, um, yeah, MB Miner, uh, Excavator, um, all these here. Um, so it will run a benchmark to see which which are um, most most profitable. Yeah, most profitable, um, and then and then we can start mining. So, we'll let that run, um, and we'll see what it comes up with. And so, while it's benchmarking, um, if you go to the dashboard here, you can see. Um, Jesus, the devices, you can see there. It's uh, it's benchmarking at the moment. Um, and then if you go across to benchmark and open that up you can see it's benchmarking seven algorithms and it's done three of seven so it's pending four and here you can see the ones it's currently benchmarking so you can see there that the Dagahash Shimoto is the Ethereum one so that's about right it's about half of what the 3060 if it was a non-limited hash rate one would do, which is about 61 mega hash, we're getting about 30 there. Uh, what I'm hoping is the ones down here when these finish, the Kapow, Octopus, um, will come up with um, pretty much a full hash ability, if that's a word, um, on some other coins like uh, Ravencoin and um, an Ergo, for example. So. So we'll see how this goes, and yeah, we'll just uh, wait till it's finished, and we'll see what the results are. So, so while I'm just waiting for those benchmarks to finish running, oh, hello, looks like it's started mining something. Uh, it's doing something there. So it's mining. Okay, pow. So it's finished doing its um, benchmarking and it's now mining Kapow at 23 mega hash. I think Kapow is the raving coin. Um, which look, I'm not actually planning to mine because it's quite heavy on the power and um, it's, got, it's got enough heat coming out of it to melt Antarctica. So, um, so I'm just going to let that run. What I was just going to quickly do is go across to um, nice hash GPU. I'm just going to do it for Google profitability, and um, I was going to um, looking for 3060 Ti. So if we just do into hardware manually. Uh, we'll put this in Aussie dollars. Doesn't matter too much, but um, we'll say no, no electricity costs, and we'll look for the device 3060. TI LHR brilliant uh, and then we'll do calculate and this just um, so that should give us um, five dollars nineteen um, a day profit uh, ignoring electricity and if you go to the bottom it just shows which ones are the most um, profitable so you can see there um, Kapow, Grin, Cuckoo Cycle, Octopus, Alter Lycus and Dagahashimoto uh, I think Auto Life is the one I'm hoping to run because it's the one that does um, Ergo. I think Kapow is doing uh, Raven Coin. So yeah, so just thought I'd show you guys that um, on the nice hash profitability calculator. Um, yeah, 
obviously you know, five dollars nineteen. You can do your sort of ROI then. You know, so the car costs a thousand dollars divided by say five. Um, you know, you're looking at a two hundred day um, ROI to basically pay the card back. Um, so yeah. So, just, uh, cool. so I've been playing around with um, the overclocks a little bit. I'm just running out of nice hash, and I was running about twenty four mega hash a second on Kapow. Um, that was just in the stock high setting in nice hash. So I've been playing around a little bit with the overclocks, getting some hot tips um, from the experts on YouTube. And um, where I've kind of landed is running just over 100 uh, plus 121 on the core clock um, and plus 1000 on the memory clock. And I've taken a fan speed, took it up to 100 and I've reduced it down to 70. Um, I see the temperatures there using um, GPU Z is 50, 56, 57 and hotspot 60, high 68. Um, I'd like to see the hotspot less than 70 ideally and you know, mid mid 50s for the um, the GPU. I guess overall temperature is good. Um, so yes, I think I'm just gonna run this now um, overnight and see how we go. You can see I've got about 28 uh, mega hash. Um, on there now, so probably just going to run it overnight. Um, see how we go with the um, with the uh, you know any rejected shares. Um, just to look at the quality of those overclocks. I've just looking here. Um, yeah, just been running this here. I can see I've as I've just done the the overclock, starting to see a few um, stale shares coming through. So I yeah, might just monitor that. I think I'm, I'm quite happy. I've lifted up from. 24 mega hash up to 28 so yes yeah, so I think that's been a been a good day's work we've got the uh, Lumen hash rate 3060 Ti up and running um, mining some Raven coin um, and yeah I'm gonna now work on putting the the 3060 12 gig as a non Ti into this rack here replacing this MSI 3060 12 gig and that's going to go over there onto the x79 rig that we've been building the last um, week and that's going to replace the 1660s so we'll get a nice lift up in in hash rate over there so yeah so thanks guys for following so far and um yeah we'll catch up in the next video thank you